Hello, the GMAT's 41's channel members, subscribers, and viewers. You are welcome to the GMAT's 41's channel. It is still me, the GMAT's 41. So in this video, I would like us to give attention to one question in Physics 101. It's actually extracted from Unizig Physics 101 workbook, guess chapter 3. Okay, so we're going to solve this question to see, and of course, have you learned how to deal with that question. If you're here to subscribe to this channel, please do hit the subscription button and go further. Become a channel member so as to support this channel, all right? So we can continue to pull strength together, sustain the momentum, and keep pushing. Okay, guys, so follow along as the question displays. And we're going to do something very interesting in this particular video. Mm? Yeah, we're going to do something interesting. So we have this question. That's question four. All right, question four of chapter three. That's physics workbook. And so the question reads, you can follow along, okay? A rifle of mass 20 kilogram fires a bullet of mass 60 gram with a velocity of 200 meter per second. Calculate the velocity of recoil of that rifle. So you see, your examiner is questioning that you find the velocity of recoil of the rifle. You know, it's just like someone having a gun, all right? Um, don't play with that, okay? And then you fire a bullet from the gun. So, you know, usually when someone is shooting, as the bullet goes out, okay, the gun itself, which is the rifle, will recoil backward. It's kind of a backward prope propelling, are you following, of the gun. Hmm. I guess this follows Newton's third law of motion, right? Every action produces equal, but what? Opposite reaction. So that's the question. But before we move on into solving this problem, there is something I want us to do, okay? I'll take you through a little journey to the GMAT 41's uh, lesson notes. Okay, the video lesson is actually also available. As you become channel member, you get access to all this wonderful learning content from GMAT 41. Um, we will not attack this question directly. We won't. I'd like to take you through something important, you know, because your examiner could still decide to ask you another question from where this question was actually taken from. Because this is a problem that is extracted from the concept of impulse and momentum to be specific application of the law of conservation of linear momentum. That's where this question is extracted from. So I'd like to take you through a little thing you should know about momentum with respect to the uh, law of conservation of linear momentum. Okay? So you follow along uh, as the GMAX 41's lesson notes on this displays. Now, you would see, showing on the screen, this equation, labeled equation 1, where we have MA UA plus MB UB equal to MA VA plus MB VB. That equation is actually the equation of the law of conservation of linear momentum. And you know, the law of conservation of linear momentum states that provided that there is no net external force on a system of colliding objects, that the total momentum of this system of colliding objects is going to be conserved. So, with that statement applying in both uh, Newton's first law of motion as well as Newton's third law of motion, we come up with this equation that is labeled equation 1. Now, this equation is actually used when Two objects are colliding and they are moving in the same direction. Are you following, right? Two objects, they are moving in the same direction and then they collide. One collides with the other one. It could be maybe from behind. Now you see also a label equation 1B. In the case, you could see something like VC. That VC is common velocity. And when do we consider that? Now you have the two objects, they are moving. Now when they collide, you know, if you're talking about momentum after collision, now where we actually look at the concept of final momentum. Now, in a situation whereby the two objects, you know, on colliding, uh, they stick together. That is to say, they do not go separate ways. They come together. Now, that is the case of many to one kind of collision. Okay? Now, as they stick together, they move together in one direction. 
And of course, you know, since they are together and they are moving together, they will be they, they will be moving with the same velocity. And that velocity is what we call the common velocity, which means the final velocity of these two objects, A and B. You know, the final velocity of A, I used VA to represent it, you can see it showing on the note. And then the uh, initial velocity, I used VB to represent, sorry, that's the final velocity of uh, object B. I used VB to, to, to represent it. And then what happens? By the time uh, these two guys collide and stick together, move with the same velocity, VA will be equal to VB. And we can just use VC to represent it, right? Vice Chancellor. Don't mind me. Okay, VC, which is the common velocity. And that is why you see in that equation 1A, we have MAUA plus MBUB, you know, sum of initial momentum of the two objects, and that is equal to. And you can see we factorize that common velocity VC because VA is equal to VB and it's the same as VC. So we now have MA plus MB in brackets, and then the common velocity factorized. You know, examiners like asking questions on this particular equation 1a, take note of that. And then again, when you go further, you would see that in the GMAT 41 note as showing, an analysis was also made in a situation whereby the initial momentum, the total initial momentum, what you have there is minus between the momentum of object A and the momentum of object B. Now, when does this happen? This happens when the two objects are moving opposites to each other. So it could be a kind of head-on collision. Are you following, right? Yeah. This is coming, this is coming, then they collide. So when two objects are moving opposite to each other, the sum of the total initial momentum, yeah, the sum of the initial momentum, you use minus between the two momentums. Take note. But the final momentum, you know, will still remain the same. You use plus MAVA plus MBVB. But for the initial part, it's going to be MAUA minus MBUB. You want to know why the minus? Good. You can drop a question on, in the comment section on all contacts, GMAS41. Ask me why do we have minus there? Then I would take you to a journey into vectors. And the fact that vectors, they have direction. Okay, so this is just a, a short summary of the idea of conservation of linear momentum. Now, we can talk about the application of this law of uh, conservation of linear momentum. Now, in the application, one of it is in recoil of a gun, which is where this question in the workbook is based on we're going to deal with. So, please take a look again as another GMAT 41's uh, lesson notes still shows. Like I said, the video lesson and all these are available, okay? Get registered with this platform and you will get all these learning materials, both in video lesson format and in lesson note form, okay? And of course, follow up with my updates regularly, and you'll be glad. First class, the only academic language that GMAT 41 understands. All right, as you see in the notes showing, okay, in the application of the law of conservation of linear momentum, going back to equation 1a, now if you have, let's say, the recoil of a gun, you have the, the rifle, then the bullet, which is inside. You know, when you have a gun, okay, the rifle, uh, stuck with bullets, okay, at that initial point, there is no movement. No movement. Which means that the initial velocity of both the gun and the bullet is going to be equal to zero. And if the initial velocity of the gun and the bullet is equal to zero, it simply means that if we apply the law of conservation of linear momentum, the sum of initial momentum will be zero in that case. Why? Because UA and UB, that is initial velocity of object A, which you can say, okay, the rifle, and then the initial momentum of object B, which we can say the bullets, okay? They are both zero. Because in that case, you've not fired the bullet here. So the gun bullet system, they are at rest. The gun bullet system is at rest in that case. So the sum of the initial momentum is equal to zero. And that is going to be equal to the sum of the final momentum, which means in this case, we are going to have that zero is equal to MAVA plus MBVB. And you can move one of the momentum to the other side. If you move that of uh, a B, for example, you'll get that MA times VA, which is the final momentum of mass A, is equal to minus MBVB which is the final momentum of object B. Now, what is the significance of that negative sign you have there? It's simply telling you 
that the two guys they are moving in opposite direction remember i told you something about newton's third law of motion every action will produce a reaction that is equal but opposite so that negative sign shows that if the bullet is going forward for example the question we want to consider now which is rifle bullet system okay as the bullet is being fired from the rifle the rifle will recoil back like i said no wonder if you watch some movies right <laughs> that you could see where uh, maybe uh, people in force when they are shooting they usually place their gun somewhere here hmm, the muscle to serve as a support because as the bullet is being fired the the, the, goy, the gun is recoiling vibrating backward so that's what the whole idea and uh, i guess i've given a wonderful summary to the idea of the conservation of linear momentum not just about solving this question like i said the examiner can try you all around just within these little things i have explained now let us go back to how to solve this question three writing question four of chapter three of this uh, workbook we are considering okay unit zip is one one workbook so applying the knowledge of what we've learned specifically in the application of the law of conservation of linear momentum to the recoil of a rifle what we now have to do is bring out the parameters the data the information given from the question and of course reading from the question you encounter that the mass of the rifle was given to be 20 kilograms that is the mass of the rifle right yeah and then we're given the mass of the bullet the mass of the bullet was given as a 60 gram we have to convert that to a kilogram so we operate in SI units since even the mass of the rifle was given in, in kilogram so that's 60 you divide it by 1000 and then you get 0 0.06 kilogram then again if you look at the question we're also given the velocity of the rifle Okay, now the velocity of the bullet, rather, the velocity of the bullet, 200 meter per second. And then the examiner demands that we should calculate, find the velocity of the rifle. And that's why I have this, this subscript R, or simply VR, equal to question mark. I don't believe that you, you understand the symbols I use for defining those quantities. M, uh, R is mass of the rifle, MB, mass of the bullet. And then uh, we have VB, uh, velocity of the bullet, which is 200 meters per second. And then VR, which is velocity of the rifle. We don't know. That's what we're looking for. So all we have to do is apply that last uh, formula you saw in the application of the law of conservation of linear momentum. Okay? So the formula is going to take this form, MR, VR. That is MR times VR equal to MB times what? VB. All right, so uh, that minus in that formula, which I showed you earlier, you don't use it when uh, carrying out your calculations. I've told you the significance, right, of that minus. You don't use it for calculation. All right, with this formula, all we now have to do is to substitute those values given to us. In place of mass of the rifle, we are going to substitute 20 kilogram, which was given as the mass of the rifle, then it's going to be multiplied by velocity of the rifle. We don't know, so we maintain our VR as you're saying, showing. That is going to be equal to mass of the bullet, which we obtain as 0 0.06. Good. And then we are going to multiply that by velocity of the bullet, 200 meter per second. So you substitute 200 for our VB. Of course, you know, making VR subject of the formula, we are going to divide both sides by what is multiplying VR, which is 20. So if we divide the left-hand side by 20, you know, something like 20 VR over 20, you're going to be left with VR, which you're looking for. So it is not subject of the formula. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.06 times 200 divided by 20. If you work out that, okay, let's assume with our calculator, how do you approach this? 200 over 20, work out that first, and you're going to get 10. Then the velocity of the rifle VR will now be equal to 0 0.06 times 10. And that's going to give us 0 0.6 meter per second. So for this question, the rifle bullet system given to us, applying the law of conservation of linear momentum, the velocity with which the rifle will recoil as the bullet is being fired is going to be 0 0.6 meter per second. So guys, I hope you learned something wonderful from this video. Give it a 
thumbs up, right? Please share this video lesson so that other friends and scholars and classmates will get to see it, learn the substance in this video lesson, and of course, get prepared for the exams as you guys are actually preparing for. You know, um, I'd like to say something very important, okay? Um, you shouldn't watch my video and just walk out like that. Are we quarreling? Huh? If you love what is happening here, which of course, I see no reason why you shouldn't like it. Subscribe to this channel. Yeah, hit the subscription button. Like, share, comment. Yes, tell me thank you. It's not easy, huh? Tell me thank you. Are you trying now, right? <laughs> and then, please, I will appreciate that you consider becoming channel members. Yeah. Become a channel member. Select from the platinum level above. All right? If you select a gold level, that's just to support this channel. All this goes in monthly package, okay? But once you join us on the platinum level, on the diamond level, you are going to get access to our video lessons, all right, fully. And of course, not to forget the complete solution to this workbook. And then behind me, you can see, you can see on the board there, stuff about maths 101, your workbook still, because that's a question number, uh, yeah, question number 11, module 3, and question number 12. I know you're not seeing everything that is there anyway, but the complete solution uh, will be made available in the next less than 24 hours. The Physics 101, the complete solution, also is going to be available. What about Chem 101, Introduction to Inorganic Chemistry? The complete solution to this workbook, you can always get them from this channel. Become a channel member from Platinum Level and Above, okay? And you get access to this and more. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And if you wish to register for the GMATS 41 physical tutorials, you can contact the GMATS 41 on the number shown on the screen. Alright? You can see the number. Contact me to get information about our physical classes in Unisic campus for Unisic students. Then those from all the schools, you can actually become a channel member, join us online, and we're going to keep guiding you through, preparing you for A splashes. In your examinations. Take care of yourself. I'll be seeing you in my next video.